Well, they should never have bought it in in the first place. It's one of the most ridiculous rules I think I've ever heard. Hi, it's me again, and frequent flyers will know the frustration of having to squeeze all your crap into one of those stupid little plastic bags that you get at the airport before security. You can't take a proper shampoo or anything. You end up having to pay over the odds at Tesco for one of them stupid little mini shampoos or buy your own bottles and fill it up and spill it everywhere. Charles May, it's absolutely ridiculous rule. Well, maybe, maybe they've come to their senses a bit because I saw this headline today, look. UK airports to scrap 100 mil liquid rule in hand luggage by 2024. About blimmin' time too. Apparently they've upgraded the scanners to these 3D CT scanners, so you don't even have to take your electronics out of your bag. Because that's another thing as well, right? You go to the airport security, you go take your belt off, you have to take your laptop out, you have to take all the coins out of your pocket for the metal detector, you have to have your liquids in a separate thing, you have to take your coat off. I end up having to have three trays when I travel because of the stuff that I travel with. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It drives me mad going through airport security. It really does. So Heathrow apparently has upgraded to modern CT scanners. So you can leave everything in your bag and they can paint a 3D image of it. How's that gonna work then? How's that gonna work? Because if you forget one little thing, one little thing, I had an asthma inhaler in my bag once and I forgot to put it in the liquids thing, right? And you go through at Stansted and you, you've queued up and you finally put your trays on and your trays go through. And then you wait in the other side of the metal detector looking at your trays thinking, please don't kick it down the the manual check shelf, please don't kick it down the manual check shelf. And then when it comes out of the scanner and you just see the little arm go katunk, and then it slides down the manual check shelf. And you know full well, full well, you've got an hour wait for that. If you're not taking stuff out of your bag, this 3D scanner thing, how many more people are gonna have the hour wait for the manual bag check? Ah, madness. But why did they bring this rule in in the first place? That's what I don't get, but they do say so in this article. The 100 mil restriction on liquids was introduced in 2006 after intelligence services revealed a plot to blow up many airliners over the Atlantic Ocean. Brazen would-be bombers planned to smuggle the items needed for the explosive devices through airport security disguised as drinks before assembling the explosives on board. So there's no limit on how many little ones you can take as long as they fit in that bag, right? So you could probably get a litre's worth of stuff in that bag, I would imagine. You travel with three of you. That's three litres. You can take an empty bottle through, completely empty bottle. So these people could team up on a plane if they wanted to and decant all their little bottles into the big bottle and still have their three litre of bomb or whatever they were going to do. It's absolutely ridiculous. It wouldn't have stopped anything at all. Would it? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So the fact that they're scrapping it is, is a pretty good deal, really, isn't it? John Holland Kay, boss of Heathrow Airport, told the Times, We have just started the expansion of the security area in Terminal 3, which will have more CT scanners, and a deadline of mid-2024. By then, the normal passenger experience will be that liquids stay in bags. Do you know what? It can't come soon enough, can it? Because the amount of ag you have to go through just to travel nowadays is absolutely ridiculous, with your bags and all of this. I remember I had to take my jeans off once, I take my jeans off once, I was travelling out of O'Hare Airport in Chicago and I had my belt off, my shoes off and they wouldn't accept that my jeans had fly buttons on them and it kept setting the metal detector off. It's never happened before in any other airport. I had to take my jeans off and be manually scanned. Can you believe that? I just think they wanted to, to look at the goods, personally. You can't blame them, they're only human, right? But yeah, they, I'm glad this is happening, but they need to ease some more restrictions, although they don't want us flying, do they? We all know they don't want us flying. So what do you reckon about this then? Is this good news or is it endangering people's lives? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon when I... Ta-da!